square feet of retail and restaurant space. Construction is expected to begin in October, and the job is slated for completion in December 96. Within three years, Benison estimates the development will create 455 jobs, 230 of them full-time. The Niagara County Industrial Development Agency Board of Directors approved a $11.5 million, $11 million five-year taxable bond for Benderson with the approval of IDA Executive Director Leo Nowak. It uh, goes on and on, but can you imagine now? That's a good store. Huh? That's a good store. Uh, Marna, don't take my picture <laughs> in the morning. I didn't comb my hair. Well, we'll do a good picture when you get dressed for lunch. Hey. Okay. I want to say hello to all of the people in Portland. I want to say hello to Lars and Jessica and Kelly and Jordan and John and all the family and a mm -hmm. whole bunch. Um, I would love to have you all here. I wish you were here. Marna and I are just going to go out for lunch and we'd love to take all of you. Love to have you here. Mm -hmm. Just talk to Pat on the phone. Everybody's pretty good there. Everybody is up and around anyway. How was, how was Jan? And Jan, we talked to last night, and she's just waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> I sent her a card with a little bird sitting on a nest, and she should get that today. Mm -hmm. I love you all. Now that's enough, Mom. This is August 4th, 1995. Just taking pictures of Grandma's wonderful place, her living room. Another all of her Irish Bull Leak and all of the cranberry glass and all of her vases, stereo and china, and the beautiful chair embroidered from Bradford. This dining room with the beautiful white china case and white and gold china. And all her pictures and the beautiful lamp. Here's Grandma Kay's special bed and Aunt Jan over the bed and Pat's artwork. And pictures. Grandma's favorite picture of her and Dad on the day of their wedding. And uh, dancing at the Yacht Club. All the five kids. Grandma's Christmas pictures from each Christmas we're here. We have a big collage and her pink roses on the breakfast table every morning fresh from the garden. And the kitchen that she would like to get rid of the yellow and be white. The pink room, as you can see, everything's pink. Here's some more of the pink room. This was the girls' room when Pat and Jan and Marna were. Here's Pat's little toy box that was made by Aunt Letha Stowe, thinking Pat would be called Bridget. So that was put on the box. Here's Aunt Jan room, Jan, Aunt Jan's room where she stays when she's in town. Aunt Jan tries to visit Grandma Kay really often. And here's the crib Grandma Kay has set up for the new baby when he comes. We're going to see him ho hopefully sometime this week. And a wonderful picture that Pat painted when she was like 12. And here's a nice shot of Grandpa Wade, my favorite picture of Grandpa Wade. Really nice one, sitting downstairs in the den. And here's the blue room with a shower made especially last summer when Grandma Kay had her surgery. And this is where I'm staying now. And this used to be the boys' room. And here's the playroom. There's that picture of Grandpa Wade again. And a painting that Pat did. And Grandpa Wade and his brother Robert. And John Janelle's wedding and Mike and John. And all of our pictures as we were growing up, every picture from school, and every yearbook from grammar school, high school, and college are all in this room. There's our girls and Jordan, Jessica Kelly and Jordan, Carol Hill, our old babysitter there. 
who was over here this morning for coffee, Jackie and Mike. And here's the recreation room and all the awards of the boys and their sports. Extra beds at Christmas time. And of course, all the pictures of everybody. Marna and Jan and Pat and the boys, Katie, the grandkids, Pat, all the pictures Grandma Kay and Grandpa Wade saved. Those are all our growing up kindergarten cutout shadow pictures. And here's the hallway going down into the washroom. And Grandma Kay's bathroom, the private bathroom that she set up when we were little kids. Kay's dressing bedroom and guest room. This open sewing machine. Place where we fix our hair and where Grandma Kay pays all her bills. And where all the pictures from our growing up were all stored in files and marked. Grandpa Wade and Grand Grandma Kay's Navy pictures. The washroom where Grandma Kay washes and hangs clothes and an extra fridge. Does her nails. Ironing board, all the sheets for the beds. And all the laundry baskets sorted. This is where we wrap Christmas presents for Christmas. And the special shower that Dad built when we were small kids to have an extra shower for the kids. And Mom put in an extra toilet, oh, a few Christmases ago, so there'd be plenty when everybody visited. At Christmas time, we sleep 19 throughout the house with three showers going, four showers. I don't know if I'll get this shot very well, but this is Grandma Kay's mom and dad, Mary Catherine DeLay and John Corcoran. Grandma Kay's backyard goes all the way back three lengths and the new trees she planted for more privacy and the wall that she hates on the neighbor's garage and her roses. The picnic benches next door being used by her favorite neighbors and the garage and her neighbors and favorite place for her little proxy grandchild and going around to the side. Across the street is Prince of Peace Church and School where all of us went to class. We heard the bell ring and we just walked across the street. New rectory that they're building now. And the front hedge and the blue spruce that Dad planted in the front of the house. It looks quite small from the front. North Military Road. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't get to say hello to Janelle and to Casey and to Kimmy. Love everybody. Come back soon. <laughs> and I'm going to miss Marna terrifically. I said hello to her family. Now I'm going to say hello to Lars' family. <laughs> hello there. How are you? Come out and see me. This is Joanne and Roberta's place. It used to be Jan's place. Really gorgeous. We had dinner. We had Puttanesca here this evening. In the dining room. And the living room. And the kitchen with Joanne at the sink. And the Kitchen. It's more of the living room. Here are Bravo and Tango. Tango. Bravo and Tango are mm. going to have a little Putanesca. All right. Oh, no good. Oh, we're in time to have Putanesca. Oh, look at guys. Yeah, this is good. No. <laughs> All right, here's some more for you, Tango. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. 
Oh, Stop okay, with here's for Berta's place. Beautiful. <laughs> there she is. And there she is. And out to her exercise place. And out There's to Jenny Jan's Yo. belly. <laughs> Let me see your belly, Jan. Uh, okay, turn to the side. Turn to the side, please. Turn to the side, please. I need to see the side. No, not the bottom. The side of your belly. Up with your shirt. Thank you very much. This may be a little dark out here because there's so much forest. It's hard to see anything else. And there's out the Sound and the Severn River out that way. There's a stairway. Down to the Severn River through the trees, and then coming all the way back, and the whole house is surrounded by this stuff. A little grill. Oh, oh really? Oh, and here, yeah, this is Tuesday, August 8th, or around there. This is the baby's room, Wade's room. Aunt Pat did this picture to match the little picture that we had when we were little, little Bo Peep. It's not little Bo Peep. What is this little guy? There's Aunt Grandpa Wade. Mom and Dad. And the baby's pretty blue bed. And the nice little denim coverlet. And the light. Going out into the hallway, into the kitchen, Aunt Janie's kitchen, which looks out into the dining room and the patio room, where Molly has his stuff, and the bathroom, Aunt Janie's bathroom, pretty artwork, and has the Marshall Parish picture like we do. Coming out in front of the baby's room into the living room. And Aunt Janie's probably vacuuming out here. Aunt Janie. Okay, there yeah, she I'll is. <laughs> Aunt Janie's cleaning up. Cleaning out the windows. We think this is a good sign. And, and going out onto Aunt Janie's whoops, patio as I fall over the ledge. And looking at her nice forest down into the Severn River. Looking at Jan's block and her nice blue house as she's coming to the door. And the view of the living room again with her pretty Bradford furniture and a little lamp and her beautiful brocade colors. Faux marble wall. Little horse she got in Greece and her dining room. And Jan's special Greek plates, hand painted plates that she brought from Greece. All the way by the and here's Aunt Jenny and Wally's bedroom. Pretty Calvin Klein sheets. Old Neem's dresser from Bradford. And this window. And the bassinet that was used for all five of us kids. There's a picture of Mom and Dad there. And there's a picture of Grandpa Wade and Grandma Kay. And when Jessica and Kelly and Jordan were growing up, right here. And another dresser from Bradford that was Aunt Nee's. The bed Jan bought herself, and this is also Aunt Nee's dresser here from Bradford. And the rocking and the dining room set from uh, Bradford with Jan's beautiful colored brocade chair covers. Here's another look where you can see the colors very much. Some artwork and Jamie's room. 